I live in Israel and my clinic is in uh, Tel Aviv. We have a lot of sun and a lot of sun exposure and many, many people suffer from a lot of sun damage. So they have a lot of wrinkles, a lot of sunspots, a lot of uh, solar lentigens. And actually, they all need some skin resurfacing. So they will come and they will say, what can you do to rejuvenate my skin, to make my skin look younger? I want to look better, to have a smooth surface, to have an even skin tone. What can you do? I propose to many patients the Occupulse. And the reason for this is that I can give with one treatment, with one uh, CO2, fractional CO2 treatment, tremendous results, fantastic results. Um, they will stay five days at home, so the downtime for patients nowadays with the CO2 is five days, and after five days they actually peel, there is kind of a peeling of the skin, and they will have very, very nice skin. So they are actually quite happy about it. Mostly patients will ask for facial rejuvenation, but the great thing about the Occupulse is that I'm also using it off the face. I'm using it also on the neck and on the décolleté. When I'm doing the facial rejuvenation procedure with the Occupulse, I will also always treat uh, the neck. I'm using then the superficial uh, mode, and it's very nice. Patients like it very much that they're getting also the neck treated. Also, this is something that we couldn't do in the past. As you know, when we were doing the ablative uh, rejuvenation, the ablative resurfacing, we were nearly not treating the neck because of the risk of uh, scarring. We don't have it now with this uh, new device with the superficial mode. I'm using the Occupulse in my clinic for several uh, years and uh, compared to other CO2, fractional CO2 lasers, it has a much, much better ablation versus coagulation ratio. So relatively, there is more ablation and less coagulation, which is very good for fractional ablative resurfacing because in this way, we can treat deeper wrinkles without the risk of side effects because you're really going deep without getting too much collateral heating on the sides. So which means that actually we get very nice results at lower energies, already at 30 millijoules per centimeter quadrant. We get one millimeter of depth, which is the right depth to treat wrinkles. So you actually don't need more than that. So you already get the depth at 30 millijoules. And on the other hand, you don't have so much collateral heating, so we don't have side effects. Side effects that can be seen are late hypopigmentation, actually delayed hypopigmentation. I've seen it with other fractional lasers, and I haven't seen it with the uh, Occupulse. And for me, the reason for this is this uh, uh, ablation-coagulation ratio, which is great, using lower energies to get fantastic results without risking any side effects. The other problem with the other fractional ablative lasers uh, is actually the downtime that patients get. So because we're using lower energies, we actually get a little bit less inflammation, a little bit less redness, and also the period after the resurfacing, after actually finishing the five days at home, they will have less redness. So their skin will be just a little bit um, pink, but not red like with the other uh, devices. So actually healing is faster and less risk for side effects. Uh, safety margin is higher up and it's very, very important to be safe. So you're deep on the one hand, which is great to get fantastic results. And on the other hand, you're very, very safe to not get the side effects such as the healing time, which is quite long with, uh, with the other devices or a little bit longer. And also the safety for long-term side effects, such as uh, permanent, hypo, permanent and delayed hypopigmentation. On uh, our M22 platform, we have the IPL, we have the Resurfix, which is non-ablative skin resurfacing, and we have the Long Pulse NDIAG. In our daily practice, uh, the modalities that we use the most are the IPL and the Resurfix. As you know, my clinic is in uh, Tel Aviv, in uh, Israel, and uh, most of our patients that come in, most of the patients that come in 
will have spots, so we have a lot of solar lentigens uh, due to quite light skin types, a lot of sun exposure, and actually also a lot of wrinkles, a lot of rough surface of the skin. So these patients, they ask to remove the spots and to have a smoother skin. And if I want to treat this, I actually would like to combine the IPL together with the resurfix. So uh, I will do the IPL first to treat the spots and at the same session, I will use the non-ablative uh, resurfacing to actually get a smoother skin surface, to treat the, uh, smaller wrinkles. And patients like it, patients like this also because there is no downtime with these procedures. So they love to come and uh, do it. They don't have uh, any downtime and the results are fantastic. So, so I'm using the long pulse in the yak for vascular abnormalities. We've used it for telangiectasia on the skin, on the face I've used it. I used it a little bit for uh, leg veins. But most of our patients, I have to say, they come for facial rejuvenation in our clinic. So um, yes, I can uh, use it on the face. It's very nice, very effective. Sometimes just one treatment is enough and they uh, are, f are really, really happy. Uh, comparing ablative and non-ablative uh, resurfacing in the clinic. So most patients love non-ablative treatments. They love them because they don't have to stay at home. And I have to say, that something has changed over the years with our patients. First of all, we have more patients, so a lot of people are coming for treatments, but most people don't want to stay at home. And I have to say that also many people are afraid of ablative resurfacing. So we are doing a lot of non-ablative uh, treatments and actually not so many ablative uh, treatments. I mean, we're still doing ablative treatments, mainly in the winter, and you know in Israel winter is very short. So we do, we do do those treatments, but uh, it's not like 10 a day, it may be one or two a week. While non-ablative, we can do like uh, five a day, or I mean, we can do really, really many of those treatments. So non-invasive body contouring is a whole new field that is coming up. Up until a few years, we just have in, had invasive uh, body contouring, liposuction, and uh, I mean surgical techniques. And nowadays, we have more and more non-invasive body contouring technologies coming up. The three main technologies that we have are ultrasound, and the SLIMI is an ultrasound technology device. We have radio frequency technologies, and we have cryolipolysis which actually treats fat by cold. So both radio frequency and ultrasound technologies heat tissue. So we are actually treating the fat cells, destroying fat cells, leading to fat cell death by heat, by heating tissue. And cryo is of course doing the same by cold. So when comparing the slim me to other technologies, we can say that it is very easy on the patient. So patients like this treatment because it's short, they can tolerate it very well, so they do feel the heating of tissue, but there is no pain, they tolerate it very, very easily, and it's quite fast. It takes less than an hour to treat the whole abdomen, so patients are happy. Also, another point is that it is just one treatment. So uh, my experience with the other technologies, mainly radio frequency technologies, that heat tissue slowly is that patients have to come, had to come back many times. So they need like at least three, sometimes six treatments, sometimes even more to get a little bit of result. So here you have just one treatment, which is very efficacious. Regarding efficacy, this is also very interesting because you can see some results already a few weeks after the treatment, but the real result, I mean, the mo most of your result will be seen after 12 weeks. So after 12 weeks, patients already see reduction of up to four centimeters in the abdominal circumference. The mean abdominal circumference reduction is around three centimeters. So most patients can have three centimeters reduction which is very nice and also very comparable to all the other devices because uh, 
all non-invasive body contouring technology devices will give up to four uh, centimeters uh, circumference reduction of the abdomen. Now, regarding um, the mechanism of action, how does it work, the SLIMI? It's very, very interesting because ultrasound waves actually induce, can induce heat in our tissue. So the SLIMI is a high frequency ultrasound device which heats tissue, heats fat tissue very, very fast. So already at 96 seconds, we reach the desired temperature of 48 degrees. And this desired temperature will be kept for about three minutes in the tissue. And this is what we want. We want a fast treatment that will heat tissue to a certain level, to 48 degrees, and for the temperature to be there so that we can induce cell death. Now, the induction of cell death is very, very important to be efficacious. And this is the reason why this device is efficacious in the treatment, because we really destroy fat cells, we kill them. Although they die quite slowly, they are still killed.